Hello everyone. We're just going to take a walk around and show you Temple Bar, Dublin's uh, hub right here in Dublin City. The tourist hub of Dublin. All the great bars, restaurants and what have you. We're right here at the beginning. We're at the corner of West Milton Street and Fleet Street. And this is the famous Palace Bar. And this will be probably the only local bar here in Temple Bar that wouldn't be uh, so touristy. Mostly uh, a lot of locals, real famous bar dating back over, celebrating 200 years this year. So pretty old bar, famous for a lot of literary folk as the Irish Times building is just down the street. So a lot of journalists and so forth. There's a really um, great pub, great traditional pub, 200 years old this year. Great, great pub. So we'll move on folks and uh, continue on up Temple Bar. I'm in the street right here. so. Hope I don't get run down, so I just might have to move over a little bit. A lot of hotels in this area as well. There's the Temple Bar Hotel right there on your right. So, Temple Bar, the area is known, named after Sir William Temple, who came here in 1599 from England. This whole area would be part of his, would have been part of his gardens, his estate, if you like. He was the provost of Trinity College from 1607 right up until his death in 1627. We have our very own, obviously, Hard Rock Cafe right here in Temple Bar. Been here a long time and a uh, great restaurant, great food. Lots and lots of Irish gift shops in the area here. This is probably the most popular of them, Carl's Irish Gifts. They're all over the place. They probably have about 10 locations in Dublin alone. Thunder Road Cafe, another great cafe. Another hotel right here, the Morgan. And some great uh, street art right here in this building. Hello. How's it going, boss? And we're coming up to uh, we're coming up to another. Actually, all the bars around here are pretty famous, including this one right here with all the flags outside. This is St. Jean Gogarty's. And uh, Oliver St. Jean Gogarty, he was uh, named after a writer. He was a writer, a poet, politician, an actor, Oliver St. Jean Gogarty. He's also a great friend of, well, at one time he was a friend of James Joyce. And James Joyce actually put him in uh, as a character called Book Mulligan in the first chapter of Ulysses. So Oliver St. Jean Gogarty's another great pub. Obviously, uh, great music in all these pubs as well. So most of these pubs in this area will have uh, music all day long. From uh, early in the morning, more or less about 11, 11 a.m. in the morning, right up until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what these guys are like. This is all of our St. Jean Gogans. Great music in all these pubs, folks. Now obviously it's only a Wednesday afternoon, pubs aren't so packed right now, but come here later in the evening, any day of the week, and they're absolutely packed, jam-packed full of people. Just listen up here for a minute. Trad, traditional Irish music in most of these pubs throughout the day. Very good. Thank you. Just thought I'd let you listen to a little bit of music there, folks. This is another great pub right here, the Old Dubliner. Not even open yet. But another famous pub with music all day long. This is the Gallagher's Boxty House right here with great traditional Irish food. Galaxy Boxty House. Great restaurant to come if you want the traditional Irish food. I'll show you the menu here in the window. So you got the old uh, 
Irish boxy dishes, which is a uh, like a potato done uh, grilled and so forth. Some more street art right here. This is uh, Rory's fish and tackle shop, and uh, it's been here for many, many years, probably uh, 50 years or more. They've tried to buy this guy out so they can put a restaurant or a, or a bar here, but he won't sell. And it's still probably Dublin's most famous fish and, fish and uh, tackle shop for all your fishing gear, all the fishing enthusiasts. They've been working on this square for a long time right here. And uh, building here, but I don't know why they've taken so long. It's probably about six months to be working here. As we walk up here, we've got lots of uh, great side streets off of the main street of Fleet Street and Temple Bar. Lots of great uh, side streets, as I say. Also, once again, full of great pubs. This is uh, the Badass Cafe. I'm not sure how much truth is to this, but supposedly 